it's Sunday the 27th of June and I thought I would take the opportunity to film another day in the life for my new series on my channel. So how are we all doing? Hopefully we're all doing really well. It's 20 past nine in the morning here for me and I'm just getting ready to go over to my mum's and we're going to go out for the day and spend some time together and just catch up and go to lovely bookshops, we're going to a craft fair that's just opened not far from us and um, we're going to go and have a look around the shops and maybe get to bite to eat, go to a cafe, do something nice but the main thing is we're just going to spend some time together for the day and I'm really 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 excited because it's so nice to be able to spend time with her again now that the restrictions are starting to ease. So yeah I'm going to take you all along with me and I'm going to show you what I'm getting up to today and then obviously there is going to be a wee bit of reading uh, sprinkled in like a wee bit of dust through this um, through this day in the life and the book I'm going to be starting and reading is going to be The Other Woman by Sandy Jones. This is a psychological thriller. I love psychological thrillers. I have literally been reading so many of them. I've been receiving so many recommendations from people on bookstagram and comments under my booktube videos and all that nice stuff. So this is definitely very highly regarded and one that was mentioned quite a lot of times so I thought I would hold it from the library, collect it a couple of weeks ago and I need to read it. So as far as I know, I don't know a lot about it but I think it's about a girl who's marrying a guy and his mother is literally a nightmare and is literally making her life hell and doesn't like her and I think it's just the, the war, the tug of war between the two and obviously hopefully they'll be getting married at the end of it but we just don't know. When Emily meets Adam, she knows he is the one that together they can deal without anything that is thrown at them. But lurking in the shadows is another woman, Pammy. Emily chose Adam, but she didn't choose his mother. There's nothing a mother wouldn't do for her son. And now Emily is about to find out just how far Pammy will go to get what she wants. <laughs> I do love these so much. And I think this is going to be so hard to put down. Although it is a chunker, actually. It's 430 pages. So maybe I might not. I might not finish it today, but... I am planning on coming home and just reading the rest of the day. There's football on in the afternoon and tonight. And the lovely Shell, my good friend, always likes a far sprint at night time. So I think I'll be partaking in that with her. But yeah, just sort of come on, introduce this vlog. And hopefully you enjoy coming along on my day with me today. And maybe you'll get to meet my mum. just back from my day out with my mum and it is currently four o'clock in the afternoon so it's still Sunday afternoon and I have just come upstairs to um, just have a wee chill out session uh, for a couple of hours before dinner time. I've got myself a bowl of crisps because you know we need treats always. I'm just waiting for a cup of tea and I'm going to continue on with the other woman. So when I came back um, for about half an hour there I sat and read I got up to 52 pages. I'm now on chapter six and this is quite subtly, it's making me feel anxious because everything seems to be going so swimmingly and 
you know, our main character has just met Adam in the bar and then they're getting to know each other and they've been together for a few months and then she finally goes to meet his mum, Pammy. And she's a lovely woman, really, really nice, treats her so well and all that nice stuff. And basically, um, our main character's just come away thinking, you know, that she's probably the best person she's ever met. She's the nicest mum, she's a lovely woman, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, from the synopsis, we know that there's going to be an issue between the two of them. So I'm quite anxious just to um, keep reading on. So I've just come upstairs and I'm going to read for an hour. So I'm going to go on a far sprint, I think, for an hour. And I'm going to read some more of this because it's definitely page turning and it is keeping me gripped and enthralled. So psychologically thr psychological thrillers do that do that to me so it's all good i think i'll fly through this today um i don't think i'm gonna finish today but i think i'll make a good dent in it so that's exciting and then maybe afterwards for maybe an hour i'll go on the switch and have we look at my animal crossing island and do a wee bit of diy and nice things on that and then yeah i think dinner time with our we're gonna go and get ice cream later on and yeah just watch the football and read and chill out because I'm back to work tomorrow so how was my day with my mum it was so 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 nice we had the best day and my heart is just full it is so nice to just spend time with my mum one-on-one -on -one just for the afternoon chatting and catching up and having a cup of tea and a bit of cake and you know doing a wee bit of shopping and, and just enjoying ourselves and she really 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 did have a nice day as did I so it was all good it was nice to see her so yeah I think really as I say my plan now is an hour of the other woman and then a quick hour of Animal Crossing dinner time ice cream time and then more reading so I'll check in with you as I have more thoughts and things to tell you about this book but fingers crossed I think it's going to be a really really good one now half six in the evening and I have just had the most delicious dinner as made by Arn. I literally had to do nothing and it was absolutely fab so basically he fired up the barbecue and cooked the meat the pork chops on the barbecue they were so delicious and then he cooked up a stir fry um, with noodles for us and it was just delicious and it was so so good um, I just popped in a couple of clips of it in the previous clips there but yeah I've just come back upstairs there's still another 20 minutes no half an hour left of the football of this afternoon's football match <coughs> excuse me so Aaron's gonna watch that now I'm gonna keep going with the other woman I am currently on page 103 of this mental book it is literally a roller coaster it's taken it has taken a real turn now because obviously in the last clip I said that um, Adam, uh, the boyfriend's mum, had been really, really nice to our main character, Emily, and she seemed like a devoted mum and who just was really nice and, and really decent. And, you know, she spoke well to Emily, the main character, and all that nice stuff. And now um, we're, at the, we're at Christmas, and basically Emily has come down, left her parents on Boxing Day, which she didn't want to have to do, but she's come down to spend the night in Adam's mum's house with all of the family and basically Pammy the mum is <laughs> turning the screw is what I would probably like to say. I'm very anxious. Um, some of the bits that have sort of happened already in, in the last maybe 20 pages since Emily has come down to stay with them. I've just been gasping and like seriously did that just happen? She is so rude and so ignorant and the mum is definitely, definitely, definitely playing to her son Adam's tune and it is just absolutely, it's it's really, really well written and it's really fantastic to read about because you're like, whoa, hold on a wee second, but it's also a car crash. But yeah, the emotions are there. It's a roller coaster. I'm only 103 pages into a 430 page book and I just feel as if this is just going to be like really mental the whole way through. So 
half an hour I'm gonna read and then we're gonna go down and get some ice cream because it is like 21 degrees here which is not normal for Northern Ireland and then I'm gonna come home there's another football match on this evening so he's gonna watch that and I'm gonna read more of this and I'll just keep on bringing you along with me and talking to you about my thoughts and reviews and feelings as I'm reading this book and yeah this has been such a fun day already and it's only half six <laughs> Anything better than ice cream when it's like 20 degrees outside? Hell no. So I'm literally, literally just in from taking Novak over to the playing fields. We let him off the lead and he had an absolute wonderful time. But unfortunately, Barbara has to deal with allergies. And yeah, I've been fine all day and then <clears throat> just going over to the big playing field with all the grass and plants and all that nice stuff I'm just not feeling my best now but I just got into bed there and had my ice cream well half of my ice cream I've kept half of it for tomorrow night after the gym and yeah it's still only half nine here so I am going to curl up in bed and read some more of my book and I'll check in with you before I go to bed later on I'm going to hopefully go for about an hour and hour and a half and we'll see how we go but yeah looking rough but yeah still chilling out Okay, so it's getting crazy late and I'm starting to struggle a wee bit just with the tiredness, allergies and all that stuff. So I am currently on page 183 of this book and it is going to crazy town. Like, it is mental. And I am absolutely loving it. I love psychological thrillers. I love domestic thrillers. I love anything including like um, boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife, families, cheating, divorce, all that stuff. Oh my goodness, I just love it. I do not know why because it's very not nice, but I just love reading about it and I love going through the emotions of it. So I am going to call it a night now. I'm just going to get into bed and catch up on some booktube. I haven't watched any TV at all um, today other than the football earlier with my dinner. I'm starting to get really tired and yeah tomorrow's Monday back to work what a lovely weekend I've had and today has just been one of the nicest days I've had in a really long time and just from start to finish it's just been really really nice so I'm going to end it on a high because it has been a really good day next week I have a lot going on actually tomorrow's payday Monday so tomorrow's payday and I'm going to treat myself to some books which I have on my wish list that I want to buy myself and I'm going to gift a few people that I've met in the last couple of weeks that I really 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 like and have been getting on really well with and also Summer Wing starts on Friday so Summer Wing's going to be amazing if you've made it to the end of this day in the life what I want to ask you in the comments is please comment below if you think I should do a weekly vlog or daily vlogs for Summerween because I am so, so, so excited for it. I literally cannot wait. TBR set, really excited for my reads. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do daily vlogs again like I did for a month -thon, or just one weekly vlog just throughout that whole week. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's Aaron's birthday the week after and with lots on, but I will be vlogging. Um, I won't be vlogging next week because Summerween starts on Friday but once Summerween is over I will be weekly vlogging so that'll be good and plenty of content coming out next week and my upload schedule I've decided is going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays so I'm very excited for that three videos a week and any readathons that sort of thing so yeah tomorrow I'm going to continue on with this look out on my socials which I'll link down below for my final 
thoughts on this and what I rated it but I really really love this book so far and I'm literally going to tell everybody to read it so thank you so much for being here and watching my day in the life of a bookworm and hopefully you've enjoyed my day through my eyes as much as I have and and if you'd like to see more content in the future please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video